Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. Today we are going to be doing my haul and retrospect from Sephora of everything that I have bought this year. Now I've seen other people do this on YouTube and I was inspired and I want to do it myself. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Anna. I upload five days a week normally, but right now I'm doing Vlogmas, so you're seeing me every single day in the month of December. So I do not shop at Sephora as much as I shop at Ulta, but I got some pretty cool things. And I'm going to share with you if I liked them, if I didn't like them, and if I would recommend them to you. Um, the first one I got was on February 18th. That was my first purchase of the year. Like I said, I don't buy. That's, I didn't buy much from Sephora this year. Um, I am VIB, if that means anything to you. Okay, the first thing I got was a Laneige sleeping mask in original. This is my favorite lip sleeping mask. I put this on every single night before bed. 10 out of 10 recommend. And in that same shopping haul, I got the Huda Beauty Glowish Cheeky Vegan Soft Blush in the shade Charming Cherry, which is like a really pretty rosy red color. Love that blush so much. I think it has a little bit of a hard time of blending, but I overall really enjoyed it. I did not make another purchase until June 11th and I got two items in this haul. Now I remember this date very vividly <laughs> and I picked up the Milk Makeup Mini Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer and I really wanted to try this out and I actually used that all up and now I have a full size of it. So I really do enjoy this product. Um, I also got my loving, like near and dear to my heart palette, the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette love 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 so two really great products that i had purchased in that video two really great products that i purchased during that shopping trip all right my next purchase was on june 15th <laughs> and i picked up three items so i picked up the lys beauty triple fix brightening concealer the tarte mini c power flex concealer that was a mini size and then the Sol de Janeiro Charosa Tan Lines Hair and Body Mist. Now I'm so sad to say that that is discontinued. Sol de Janeiro needs to bring that back, in my opinion. Now as far as the Tarte Concealer goes, it's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite. So um, I definitely say it's okay. I don't really have much to say on it. I really do enjoy the list, LYS Beauty or List Beauty. I really enjoy that concealer. I think it is a really great one. It's not heavy, but it's pretty close to full coverage. I went to Sephora again, you guys. Um, this is on July 2nd. I picked up three items. I got redeemed my birthday gift. So I got the Tatcha birthday gift. Very, very cool. I love that stuff. And then I also got the Tower 28 Beauty Shine On Lip Jelly and then the shade Coconut, which is my favorite shade. It's so beautiful. Highly recommend. And then I also got my beloved Anastasia Nouveau eyeshadow palette. So again, a really nice haul. Um, Sephora is a very expensive place, so I oftentimes don't go there too often. <laughs> now I did go to Sephora on August 7th and I picked up two more items. So I loved the Tower 28 lip jelly so much that I went back and I got another shade. I got the shade Coconut, This, I'm sorry, I got the shade Pistachio, that's a little more of a nudie pink, very beautiful. And then I also picked up the, what was new at the time, um, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask with Vitamin C, which was the mango one, which is the one I'm currently using now. I still, four and a half months later, I'm still using it and I still really like it. Um, I think I like the pink one better um, because the yellow, the mango one kind of has like a little tint and it kind of gives your <laughs> lips a little mango-y tint to it, but you're sleeping. It's not a big deal. Now I next purchased from Sephora on September 30th and I just got two items there. I got the Huda Beauty Glowish Blur Jam Primer. This is a really nice primer. Um, I don't know how much it helps with mattifying, it kind of does, but every time I wear it, my makeup just looks so smooth and I love it. So I would recommend that. I also picked up this little set after seeing so much on TikTok about the Paula's Choice Salicylic Acid BHA Exfoliating Liquid. So I got this mini set and it was with 
that liquid exfoliator as well as the Paula's Choice sunscreen, which I really like and I talk about in tomorrow's video. But yeah, for $17, I really enjoyed that. Um, I don't use the liquid exfoliator that much. I noticed that it was a little drying to my skin, so I can't really use it every day. Um, but I really love that sunscreen. So I think that's a great purchase. Then a week later, I went to Sephora again on October 8th and I picked up this Tarte C Best Kept Secrets and it had the excuse me, the Tarte C um, mascara. It had like a tinted lip balm and a cream bronzer for $30. That's a really good deal and they were all fall size products. I really, really liked that set and I'm using, I'm wearing that mascara today. So all really great products. In there. I also picked up the Huda Beauty Love Fest Obsessions palette. This is such a beautiful palette. I did like a dedicated video with it where I got ready and yeah, that was a beautiful palette. I know they had a blush in that collection, and my Sephora is actually in a Kohl's, like my the closest one to my house is, so they don't have the blush, and I would love to like go to like a bigger Sephora and see if they have that, but this is where my big haul comes in. So um, if you remember, I did a really big VIB sale haul. I was really excited to try out some new stuff and also um, save some money, so... The first thing I got was the Too Faced Yummy Gummy Makeup Set, which I actually really loved. This is a great palette, um, great lip gloss. I loved everything about this. I got the Touchland Power Mist Hydrating Set. Yes, hands down, I keep one of these everywhere with me. One of the best hand sanitizers out there, in my humble opinion. I also picked up this Laneige Perfect Pair Lip Hydration. So it came with a full size glowy lip balm from Laneige in the, sh in the shade scent, berry, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then it also came with like a mini mango lip sleeping mask. I really like both of these and I definitely want to get another one of the lip glowy balms. I picked up a Paula's Choice Mini Resist Youth Extending uh, Daily Sunscreen. Love that stuff. I actually am doing an empties video tomorrow and I talk about that product, so you know it went well. <laughs> I got two Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Shines, and she's expensive, and she's an influencer. I'm wearing She's an Influencer today, and I love it. I also, since I loved the Major Dimension 2 palette so much, I actually bought the original Major Dimension palette, and that is a beautiful neutral palette. If you aren't really into like pinky eyeshadows like the Major Dimension 2 palette has, this is a great option for you and I highly recommend. I also picked up this Ula Henriksen Hunt for Hydration mini set because I really wanted to try out the Ula Henriksen Strength, Tra Strength Trainer Moisturizer. I can't even say it. Um, I really wanted to try this out and I got the opportunity to. Um, fun fact, I love it. And I also love the mini eye cream that came in there and I am using those both as of right now. Um, I'm using the Ula Henriksen Strength Trainer Moisturizer as my day cream and I absolutely love it. If you have oily skin, you don't like a heavy moisturizer, this is it. Just a couple more things here. I kind of went crazy. Um, I also bought the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Um, I did a get ready with me on the 20th, I think, using that palette. It is so beautiful. It's just amazing. If you like brown tones and golds, that is the perfect palette for you. I also picked out this Tower 28 Dreamy Gleamy Holiday Gloss Duo Set. These are two full-size Tower 28 lip glosses. One was in the shade Coconut, which I love. I have one of those glasses in my drawers and one of them in my desk at work. They also had another like limited edition metallic -y gloss. So beautiful. It is beautiful. Those are some of the best glosses out there and they're $15 for a single tube. They're so good. I, I, I can't recommend them enough. I, I really can't. And lastly on this haul, I got the Disney Fantasia and One Size by Patrick Star Highlighter. Now, this is so beautiful, you guys. I love this highlighter. It's in my everyday makeup dry right now. Um, I've talked about it a lot in videos and stuff, so I feel like I can't really like go into it too much without just straight up repeating myself but um if you have my skin or deeper you would look beautiful in this highlighter 
it's gorgeous and then I went to Sephora on Black Friday um they were having some great deals that day so that was November 25th and I got the Huda Beauty new nude eyeshadow palette for half off I was so excited because I remember when this came out I wanted to get it but it was $65 and I couldn't afford it so I love this palette I've been wearing it a lot and I really find that um, it was worth it would I have paid full price for it I don't know but I really enjoy it I also picked out this Caudalie pores and glow duo and it has like a mask and a like beauty elixir I haven't used this yet um, the way the, the beauty elixir smells, it smells very natural. Um, it doesn't smell bad, but it kind of freaks me out a little bit. And then also my skin has been a little more dry, on the dry side, so this um, like poor, like sucking mask, I don't know if it's right for my skin at this time, but more towards the summer months, absolutely. I also got some stuff that was on sale during Black Friday, but they didn't have it in the store, so I just placed an online order. <laughs> I got this um, Ula Henriksen Seeking Self Care. So it was a $90 value. It was on sale for like $35 and it came with a full size strength trainer and moisturizer and then um, minis of the Dark Spot Toner and the Banana Bright Plus Eye Cream. I have been using all three of those. Um, I have to say that Dark Spot Toner really um, has changed my skin. I have a lot of acne scarring around my chin that has lightened that. I have some scarring around here. It has lightened that tremendously up here. It has lightened it. So um, that is really, really good. I also ran out of my Milk Makeup Primer, so I got a full size of it. This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying and Blurring Makeup Primer. I really, really like this primer. Um, and I think it's um, really great if you have oily skin. I don't think it's as like hardcore as like my Tarte Soothing Pore Filling Primer, but this is still really good. Last purchase I made at the time I'm filming this video was on December 3rd, and I picked out some replica fragrances. Now I got some travel sizes because I would love a full size, but I really want to try it out on my skin to see if I really like it. I'll talk about them now. These are very luxe fragrances. They are expensive in the store um, if you get a full size. They're pretty on average price for like a travel size vial like this. So I wanted to really talk about it here. The main one I wanted to try was Beach Walk and my Sephora did not have Beach Walk on its own. So I got a set that came with three of them. So it came with Beach Walk, when the rain stops and oh, not that one <laughs> and bubble bath so i picked out those three and i was so excited so let me give you some notes on beach walk here so these replica fragrances by maison margila margiela uh, i hope i'm saying that right so they're supposed to remind you of um a reproduction of familiar scents and moments of very look varying locations and periods you know when i smelled this i immediately thought of being on my honeymoon and that's exactly what they were going with here you know so um i would love a full size now that i've tried this out i want a full size of this i'm just going to read the notes on the sephora app here so this is a modern floral fragrance with notes of lemon coconut milk and cedar wood it smells so good it almost there's like a sunscreen-esque scent to it, but it's not gross. It's like coconut sunscreen. <laughs> that sounds so random, but this is so good. This reminds me of being on Clearwater Beach on my honeymoon and just having the most amazing time and not having a care in the world and swimming in the ocean with my husband and just like being like kids. It was so fun. I love everything about this scent. It also reminds me of standing on the balcony of our hotel room and looking over the ocean. Um, it also came with bubble bath. So bubble bath was is a really popular scent. The um, gentleman who was working at Sephora told me that. And he said that, uh, you know, it's very fresh. This is a very um, popular one that they have. So according to the Sephora site, this blends a soap bubble accord 
with the fresh floral scents of rose super essence, jasmine, and lavender layered atop grounding musk. This is so accurate. It almost smells like clean lavender. Like I am taking a bath, but also the windows are open. Um, it's a beautiful 60 degree day. It's partly cloudy and the grass is green. <laughs> I don't know, this is what I think of. It smells like luxe, rich people bath. I don't know, it, it's really, really nice. The last one that came in the set was When the Rain Stops. As you can tell, I'm really bad at describing fragrances. This is my least favorite. It just, I like it. I will wear this, but I don't think I would buy a full size of this. This um, is created through a unique combination, according to the Sephora site, of aquatic accord, rose petal, bergamot oil, and patchouli. So um, I definitely think it's the rose petal and bergamot oil. It seems to change on my skin to make me really like it. So. Yeah, well, I guess I would buy a full size of this. I would I would love a full size of either one of these if they weren't $150 a bottle. <laughs> I also love that these scents are um, unisex and yeah. <laughs> I thought originally I was buy gonna buy Beach Walk and Springtime in a park. And that was when they said that they were out of Beach Walk. And so I just decided to get the whole set. But <laughs> this, Oh, this smells like spring. Um, this just smells um, like Lily of the Valley, which which is a flower that my great grandma used to um, grow, and it just reminds me of her. And according to the Sephora site, it says this floral perfume blooms a Lily of the Valley, green black currant, and of the fruity fragrance of pear to create a de delicate and luminous fragrance. So this fresh scent evokes the memory of walking through a park during springtime with wafting scents of flowers and fruit within the spray. This is very nice. Um, my two top two are definitely beach walk and springtime in a park. If someone wants to treat me to beach walk, beach walk please <laughs> don't hesitate. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, that is my favorite. I do love beachy scents like this. Yeah, um, I also, if you are interested in seeing like a fragrance video, that was something that um, has been requested. I have a lot of these fragrances. I don't always buy full sizes. So I have a lot of these like mini fragrances. There we go. <laughs> um, I do really like fragrance. I can share my favorite ones of, you know, that are less expensive and more expensive and so on. Let me know if our fragrance video is something that you'd wanna see. Okay, so that is everything I bought at Sephora this year. Now, at the time that I'm uploading this, I don't know if I'll be buying anything else from Sephora, but overall, I think I found some really great products this year. I'm really happy with the items that I have found. And yeah, I can't wait for 2023. I think we're gonna have some really cool releases and I cannot wait to kind of explore Sephora a little more. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 24. Bye!